everyone, and welcome to part 3 of my Pokemon Platinum Sprite Editing Tutorial. Tonight we're going to work on the actual sprites of Pokemon, which I feel like is the more common thing that people want to edit. However, I actually didn't really do that much with uh, the ROM that we did for our stream series. But, in trying to make this video, I ended up learning a lot about it, so I think I still have a fruitful thing for you guys to watch. So as always, we're going to start with opening Tink. And Tink will then open our ROM. And inside the ROM, we just want to extract the NARC in Poke Tool, Poke Graphic. And we want the Platinum Poke Graphic NARC here, which we will put on the desktop. All right. And that should show up here. Nice. And we open a new tool called Pokemon DS Pick Platinum. And this one can open our NARC that we just got. And it looks like nothing happened here, but they're all stored down here in the pick list. And it doesn't really matter which one you do, because the process is the same for all of them. I'm just going down to 564, because that's Gengar. Gengar is the one thing we edited for our ROM. And he's right here. Okay. So the style of what you see are going to be six pictures for each Pokemon. This one is the female back sprite, followed by the male back sprite. Oh, wait, no, I went down two. They don't change for Gengar, so they get sneaky. So 564 is the female back sprite. 565 is the male back sprite. And then we have the female front sprite as 566. 557 is the male front sprite. And we go down to 568, who looks just like the last one, but this is the non-shiny palette file. And you can tell it's different because its name has a 48 in the parentheses. And then you come down one more to 569, and that is the shiny Gengar palette. And it took me forever to figure out that these are the palette files, until I went down one more to Onyx. And then I came up. And it, you get this, which is pretty darn cool, honestly. But what's happening is that the palette file is just being applied to the last image that you've seen. So when you're coming up, you'll see Onyx. When you're coming down, you'll see Gengar. But these ones are related to the Gengar sprites and only them. Okay, so first we're going to go up a couple here to the female front sprite. And that's what we edited for the stream series. That's going to be open PNG. That's our guy right here. And we can go ahead. Now, every time you open PNG, you have to immediately write to NARC. If you scroll away and come back again, your changes will not have taken effect. And he's already dropped. So it's, a, it's an immediate open PNG write to NARC. So I'll do the same going one down to the male front sprite. Open PNG and immediately right to NARC. Then we come down to <laughs> the palette, which is now being applied to the last image that I saw. And you do the same thing to change it. It'll just extract the palette from this image I just put in, right to NARC. And if you're lazy like me, I don't have a shiny one for it. So I'm going to set that as a shiny palette as well. Open PNG and right to NARC. And now I can look through them. And they look just... Oh, well! Okay, well, the the front sprites look okay. We never really had Gengar uh, on my team, so we didn't bother making one on that side. But, uh... Yeah, you can see that they, they use the same palette, and they are affected in this way. So what I'm gonna do from here is walk you guys through a whole new set of sprites that were never used in our series, but we'll show you what you need to do from start to finish on getting a fully chained set of six images for a Pokemon and its sprites. So from here, I'm actually going to close PokePick or Poke, Pokemon DS Pick or PokePick DS, Poke DS Pick, whichever you call it. And I'm going to kill the NARC file we just made and get a fresh one. All right, like so. Open Poke DS Pick again. 
Okay, then from there, we open the narc again. Like so. Come back to 564, which I always go past. My goodness. Uh, there you are. And we're going to go a couple more forward to the first front sprite here. And then we can do save PNG. Put it on the desktop. Oh, right. Gonna give it a name. G-E-N-G-A-R. So original. Save. And I can pull you over here. Open a sprite. And put him inside. Alright. So, the main details of a Pokemon sprite is that one, there are two different Gengars here. That's because he kind of flashes between these two images when he first gets thrown out to make him look alive. And uh, if you're, again, lazy like me, you can just make one sprite and put him over both of them. Because uh, you'll see that both of them are in an 80 by that's not the select tool. They are in an 80 by 80 box. Scroll all the way down. You can see, there we go. That's exactly in half. So if I was to copy this and put it over here, that would put him in the exact same spot and he wouldn't move at all when he came out. I think things like flashing and any kind of like stretching that the sprite does will still happen. He just won't move his arms and lift his leg. Okay, the other thing to notice is that he has exactly 16 colors over here as the palette. That's very important because if you try to bring in sprites that are not exactly 16 colors, even though, let's see, I brought out Ditto here. <laughs> he doesn't have exactly 16 colors, but I think it's a limitation of the tool. When you bring them in, they have to have 16 colors. They don't technically need to use all of them. Like what I usually do is, uh, these down here, this is the uh, the color that I'm currently going to draw with, and I think if I right click, that's what this is about. So what I can do is just take this, set it to all zeros for true black, which you can tell up here, there's a white triangle on this one. That means that this is already in the palette. But if I open it, scroll up one for red, this red exclamation point appears here. I can click it and it's added to the palette. And I can just keep doing that for green and for blue, back to red, and so on and so forth until this palette is exactly 16 colors, which would be on this 0 to 15. Don't let that throw you off. It did for me in the beginning. Okay. And that should be good to go from there. So even if they export with less colors, you need to make sure that when you bring them in, that they have it. Otherwise... You can go in here, open PNG, come on in, try to pick Ditto, and it yells at you. PNG has to be 8BPP index. This image will probably not work. So, if he has 16 colors though, like my other image, oh, well, okay. This tool likes to mislead you too. So if I was to go in there and write to Narc, scroll away, come back, he's not there anymore. So don't assume it's good until you can scroll away from it and come back to it and then it'll show up okay okay but now that i've done that i need to get a new narc <laughs> watch see no i don't i think that should be all right uh go ahead from there i can close my example here don't need to save anything and now we can actually get into the nitty-gritty of changing this to somebody else so what i have is the sprite that I found on the internet for Pikachu wearing a hat, which I thought was the greatest thing. So I'm going to copy it right here. And to make things easier on myself, I'm going to do a new layer. And I can just drop him. Oh, another important thing about these sprites is that they are, again, indexed, which means they have to show up with colors that are in the palette. So to take that limitation away, you change it back to RGB color. Now let's it be anyone, so when I pay, paste our guy in here, he looks okay. Now I just line up his feet with Gengar's feet, and that should set it where they show up touching the ground in the game. You put them up too high and it looks like they're floating, and uh, it's no good. Okay, and like I said before, 
We can now just copy an 80 by 80 box. It's a little hard to get exact. There we go. And you can see down here, down, well, where my mouse was, you can see it's 80 by 80, my selection. So I can copy, paste it, and bring it over here. And that should ensure that they are in the exact same place. So there won't be any kind of jittering when he first comes out and he's trying to do the animation. Okay, so from there, we can now go to the lower layer. Use the eyedrop tool, get the background color, get a solid rectangle, and just wipe out Gengar. All right, and now it's important from here to merge the layers back down. Because the next thing we have to do is create the palette. And when you do that, coming down in here, saying you want 16 colors, again, not with alpha component, that's exactly 16, that the uh, background color is in the very top left. What can happen if you have layers is it'll throw it off and it won't actually put them in the correct order. So when you re-index the image, part of Pikachu can disappear, even though it's correctly using the 16 colors. So just make sure that you merge the layers back together first. And then we can just come back in, index the image again, and he still looks a-okay. And that should be good. Because what'll happen if you don't go back and index that image again, you, uh, when you put the sprite in there, in fact, I think I can show you. I think I can show you from here. So I'm going to put it in RGB color. And we're going to save as and put on the desktop as Hatch Chew. There we go. And he'll show up right over here. Reopen Pokemon Platinum DS. Uh, pick and open arc. Like so, come back to our good friend, 564, there we go. And then scroll to what used to be Ditto and it's now all messed up, but we can fix it now. Well, kinda, but uh, cause we're actually gonna break it again with this Pikachu as long as it does, does this correctly. So we go open PNG and we pick the non-indexed Pikachu, I just, or Hatchu, I put on the desktop and he yells at me again for the it's not indexed even though it has 16 colors it doesn't it hasn't gone through the index process so the program is still mad at it we can try writing to narc but if we scroll away and come back okay actually normally it's worse than that uh, it usually looks like uh, this but uh, to avoid this kind of uh, pixelation or whatever is happening here you just have to put this back over there, come back in here, index mode, save it. Oh, right, it's open in the thing. All right, fine, close, cancel. Now save it, open again, and do the wandering down to the 564. Okay, and come on down a little bit more. So now if I bring it in, one, doesn't yell at me, looks good here. Right to narc, I scroll away, come back. Now, the shape is right, and that's what matters. We haven't gone through the whole process of getting to the palette file yet. So let me show you that it'll work by doing open PNG on the second front sprite. Right to NARC, come down to the 48, which is the non-shiny palette file, open PNG, at you, right to NARC, and we'll just do the same thing for the shiny one as well for consistency. Right to NARC. And now they are all good to go. Uh, uh, well, okay, all right. So maybe we get a Zapdos themed Gengar as the back sprite, but we can fix that as well. Uh, I've been showing you a lot so far, so I'm just going to, uh, copy the pre-made one I tested with earlier and paste that back sprite here. So I can just open PNG and do the back sprite at this point and then go up one higher, 
and do the same thing here. And since they use the same palette, which I can show you by doing this, now the exact same palette. Oh wait, no. And they have the exact same palette. That means they're going to be good to use that way. All right. So we should be good to scroll through all of them. Oh wait. Oh, I forgot the thing. Open PNG, pick, right to NARC. Okay. And open that. This one, right to NARC. Okay. So now we come one for 564. The uh, female back, male back, female front, male front, non shiny palette, and shiny palette. They are all correctly changed. And then, heck, even from here, what we could do. Since I already have one ready, we'll just uh, do a load palette. And I have one made of a shiny Pikachu. So let's do that. And I'll change him into this. Save as. He'll still be correctly indexed. I haven't changed that, just the palette. Okay, so do, 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 do. Call him Shiny Chew. No, not Shiny Shoe. <laughs> Chew. There we go. Okay. All right, that should be good there. And if we come down to the second 48 file for Pikachu, 569, we can open it, bring him in here, right to NARC. And now he's changed, but the other sprites are still using the non-shiny, so that should be all right. But if you do find a shiny, it'll show up correctly from there. There we go. And that's really it, as long as you index and use 16 colors any sprite that can fit within an 80 by 80 box should work like i see everywhere people talking about trying to use this uh if I mean, let me say it right for once pokemon ds pick platinum or any other version there's actually slightly different versions for heart gold soul silver and black and white and ones like that but they always talk about the pixelation issue or that uh, it needs to be 8 bpp and that's how you do it. And you should have an open world in front of you from this point. All right. And as always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Or if you know anything more about it, and there's an easier way to do this, or if I said anything wrong, let me know from there as well. Because like I said, I didn't do this in our run. So this is all things I learned bef just before making this video. So I think we're good to go, but you have to let me know from there. All right. And as always, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.